good day welcome this is your daily med with lady v grace and peace from god our father and from our lord and savior jesus christ today we just want to talk a little bit from hebrew chapter 3 verse 7 and 8 we want to understand that when the holy spirit speaks to us we should listen not just to be listening, but to listen to obey. We often sing, I say yes, Lord, yes. I say yes to your will. I say yes to your way. I say yes, I will trust you. I will obey you. When your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart, I will agree and my answer will be yes. May that be true to our hearts as we listen to the Holy Spirit when he speaks to us. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 7 and 8. It says, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion during the time of testing in the wilderness. Verse 9 says, We are your ancestors tested and tried me, though for 40 years they saw what I did. And so the Lord purposed by an oath that they would not enter into his rest. We look at verse 15, the same chapter in Hebrews chapter 3. Again, it says, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion. So we have been advised not to harden our hearts when the Spirit of God speaks to us. Listen what verse chapter 4 and verse 1 says. We know that Christ rests his promise to all believers. And he says, therefore, since the promise of entering his rest still stands, let us be careful that none of you be found to have fallen short of it. He says, for we also have had the good news proclaimed to us just as they did. But the message they heard was of no value to them because they did not share the fate of those who obey. So we know for a fact that when God speaks to us, we should obey. So we should be careful. And in our being careful to our own selves, we must remind those around us on a daily basis if we have to. Do not harden your heart when the Spirit of God speaks to us. We do not want to miss God's eternal rest. So when God speaks to us, we must be willing to hear and obey what he says to us. Sometimes it may be a word of correction. It may be a word of comfort, a word to cheer us along life's way, a word encouraging us to be confident or to take courage in the situation that we are in. He does give assurance through his spirit. So with all that in mind, we must listen or we must focus with the intention to obey what he is saying to us. We see from our lesson that lack of faith will keep Christians from God's rest in Hebrews 4 and verse 1. Faith will give us God's rest while the, well, what, which involves that we find what God is saying to us. We do it. We don't try to Earn things our own way, as we will see in chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. 
we can enter his rest today. He says, when you hear, whatever time you hear, the offer of salvation is being given, or that word of encouragement, do not harden your heart. God's offer of rest began before the days of Moses. Hebrews chapter 4 and 4. And the offer is still good to us today. We just need to accept it through faith. Believe what the Spirit says. Even the rest achieved by the Israelites when they were with Joshua and they entered Canaan. The Bible still says that was a temporary rest as seen in Psalm 95 verse 6 through 11. But we want to enter into eternal rest with him where our faith is resting in him where we can trust him in all things where we are dependent upon him and we do not live independent of his word or his advice somebody rightly penned these words my faith has found a resting place not in any device nor in any creed but i trust the ever living one trusting in jesus christ the one who gave his life at calvary for our sins so we must be willing to hear what he says to us so when he speaks we want to listen with our hearts because he says if we don't and we become disobedient then our hearts only become harder or hardened and then it is time for discipline and he will not stop applying his discipline to us because he wants to bring us to a place in him where our lives are holy before him so we must listen to our heavenly father we must depend upon his holy spirit to bring to our mind the areas in our lives that need change romans chapter 12 verse 2 tells us about that we want our minds to conform to the things of god we need our attitude to be one of gratitude where we are trusting god and giving him thanks in all things as he says we are praying without ceasing we are understanding that romans 8 and 28 tells us no matter the circumstances it will work out for his glory it will work out for her good and others will be blessed by it and we can't pick and choose what to take from what god says what to believe and throw the rest aside once he speaks we must be obedient in all things so we listen to him to obey him so when the revelation is given whatever it says it is at the time for our own good if we refuse to heed his warnings it could be disastrous for us remember the holy spirit is truth is the spirit of truth he doesn't tell lies so whatever he brings to us is bringing the mind of god to us and we should understand that is because of love and be grateful yes we should be thankful and we should also believe because it is to our own benefit whether it's positive as we would say it or whether it is ne negative we can trust that he has the best in store for our lives we often pray open or sing open the eyes of my heart lord so that i can see you and when he's opening our eyes sometimes we refuse because we do not like the way he chose to open the eyes of our hearts we also want to hear from him and we sing we need to hear from you open my ears so i can hear 
but when he does speak if we do not like what we hear then we do don't want to hear but remember whether it's for comfort whether it's for cheer whether it's for correction whether it's for courage whatever it is let us listen to the voice of God there is danger in failing to hold fast the hope of eternal life uh, to the end and we'll see that in verse 6 of our lesson the Christians have been warned take heed see to it that we do not fail God as many did we see that in the lives of the children of Israel and they were cut off because of their unbelief remember we were created to know God we were created to obey him he is the creator and we are the creature the old duty of money says is to fear God and to keep his laws that which he says so the call of his spirit should be obeyed when today whenever you hear his voice it's a warning that there is danger if we do not take heed to his voice listen for he is our god and we are the sheep of his pastors we are the creature of his hands so he says today if you hear his voice do not harden your heart because we were created to know him and to know him is to love him to serve him to be obedient to his voice god bless you thank you again for watching please like please subscribe please comment and please share and again do visit my youtube channel daily med with lady v